Hi everybody and welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. On this video we are going to be completing the main mission Emergency Exit. And the, those that are uh, more observant you'll see that I've had to open a new session for this one to be done. That's because I messed up the uh, video on the last one. And unfortunately it didn't help. The, the fact that it goes straight into a scene that's Everyone. in the present day, so I couldn't go back to the database to replay it. Everyone, retreat to the villa! I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Okay, so we're going to fight our way back to the villa. Go, go. Uh, the mercenaries are pretty good. They will help us. There's not, um... We're not very healthy as you can see. We've lost all our armor and our weapons and our equipment. Lost everything. Not a good idea. Just in case you thought this game was going to be easy enough for you to have all the best equipment. Oh no. So, here he comes. So you gotta go away, make your way up the villa, villa steps, and then you'll see Claudia being attacked. So target that guy and get him dead as fast as possible. There he is. He's finished. Nope. Yeah, don't advise you to try to use your hidden blade for this. Much better with a sword. As I found out to my cost there. Okay, so we go around here. More guards come, but they're fighting the mercenaries, so you can just run past them pretty much. Unless they actually attack you. There he goes, he runs away. So follow Claudia. And then there's this woman being held prisoner. So to choose your, weapon, your pistol, which you do still have, and shoot the guard. Again, follow Claudia. And in we go. I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. Rapidly, I must go help the troops. Hurry, Ezio! That was the thieves. Right. You can read that in your own time. Grazie, Dio. We could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Mario, I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town. Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. <laughs>
Okay, so at the end of sequence one, we find ourselves back in the present day with Desmond. Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. To find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditori Villa. Yes, it's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly, maybe. I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory-like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's our next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. And as Desmond watches that ghost running away, we are going to call an end to this video. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, Requiescat in Pace.